for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to speak about the critical need for Congress to act now and support our struggling economy. Like many families and businesses across my district, I've been disappointed by Congress's inability to address our nation's fiscal challenges. We need to stop lurching from one manufactured crisis to the next, budgeting 90 days at a time, because it's actually the most expensive and inefficient way to budget. As a businesswoman and entrepreneur, I understand that you don't just manage a business for a few months at a time, but you plan for the long term. Businesses and families deserve a long-term budget that provides them with the visibility needed to plan for the future. Every day we fail to do this, Congress is harming the economy. We must take a balanced long-term approach to the budget and end the irresponsible across-the-board cuts that were triggered by sequestration. And we must act now to prevent a government shutdown. I remain committed to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to pass a budget that reduces the deficit and creates jobs. We must come together now to get this job done. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.